We begin with breaking news. The Hendry County Sheriff's Office now says they are working to search the property where eight deputies got mysteriously sick. Those deputies were rushed to the hospital. Thanks for counting on NBC2 here on a Friday night. I'm Trent Bennett. And I'm Christy Soto. It's been two days of investigating, and now the National Guard is in Hendry County. NBC2's Madison Adams is live at the scene along North Industrial Loop in LaBelle with more on this investigation. Madison. Multiple federal agencies are investigating to find out what caused these deputies to get so sick. I spoke with a chemist at FGCU today to get some insight on what goes into testing hazardous materials. Makes me wonder what kind of quantities are involved. Um, with chemical hazards, there's two big issues at hand. There's what is it and how much is there? For two days, investigators have been on North Industrial Loop in LaBelle, suited up to identify a suspicious substance. Now the Hendry County deputies brought in the National Guard, Department of Homeland Security, FBI Weapons of Mass Destruction Team, and the DEA for help. So it's all about the quantity. If they have to get that many agencies in, it makes you start wondering what kind of quantities they have of whatever chemical precursors they might have. We learned whatever the substance is was so potent, eight first responders were rushed to the hospital Wednesday and at least five were given Narcan. Kevin Davies, a chemist at FGCU, says testing for drugs should only take minutes, hours at most. You often have to be careful about what you say because you're collecting information that could end up being in the trial uh, and letting that information out too soon can end up being problematic. Tonight, deputies at the Hendry County Sheriff's Office were given the all clear by federal government agencies to continue their search of the lot where deputies are investigating a stolen vehicles. We've never had a situation like this here. Not that I can recall. You know, we might have had a, a situation where there was something that was very minor, but not like this, not to this magnitude. Deputies have one man in custody on a federal violation of probation charge. He was found unconscious inside an RV. The sheriff's office says their deputies became sick as they were rendering aid to the man. I also spoke to a business who is right next door to the property that is under investigation. He says it was just a matter of time before all of this happened. We're going to stay on this and we'll let you know when authorities announced what caused these deputies to get sick. I'm live in LaBelle, Madison Adams, NBC2.